In my math class in NYU, I learned about how to factor polygons in different modules. So you can indeed factor different polynomials using modular arithmetic, and it only affects the coefficients. So for example, x to the 5 minus 5x squared mod 3 could become x to the 5 minus 2x squared mod 3, or x to the 5 minus 8x squared mod 3. They are all congruent to each other. Now, if uh, you can, now in our class, we deal with factoring polynomial with integer roots. So, you can technically factor any, poly, any polynomial whose determinant is positive, at least for quadratic, uh, but we, uh, their, uh, their roots are usually irrational or rational, and we don't do that in this class. This class, we mainly focus on integers. So, uh, what we are say is that if an uh, integer polynomial is reducible to integer roots, then a different polynomial, well, they will also be reducible to integer roots in mod p, uh, where p is some random integer. Similarly, you could also say uh, that if a polynomial is irreducible in mod p, where p is any integer, then it will also always be irreducible in the integers as a whole. However, this does create a weird loophole, where uh, even if a polynomial is reducible in a certain modulus, that doesn't mean it always will be reducible in the integers. So, uh, that's a very weird case of things. I also learned how to make the Newton polygon for any polynomial. It's a very interesting subject.